Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a band script on Roblox. Now before you can learn how band scripts even work, you have to figure out how kicking works on Roblox. So first, let me put some code down. So as you can see, here's what it does. So first we define player as me, players scripting. So when I join the game, my player will be located under game.players, which is this right here. And then you do player colon kick. And this is the kick function. And what this kick function does is it disconnects someone from a Roblox game. So let's try it out. See? You were kicked, you've been kicked from the game. So that means that our kick script actually works. So now, what if you want to make the kick message say something else? Like, so if you want to do that, you just have to do this. You type something in between these parentheses. So if you want to say, player kick, you have been kicked from my awesome game. Now if you test it out, boom. You were kicked from this experience. You have been kicked from my awesome game. So what that means is whatever you put into here, that's what the player will see. Let's pretend that you have some type of exploiter and you want to say bye-bye exploiter. So now that's how kicking works. Okay, so this much code is enough if you want to ban one person. But I'm guessing that you actually want to ban a few people or like a bunch of people. So how do you do that? Well, we make something called a table. So as you can see right here, I have a list of people that are going to get banned. You've got me and you've got some type of friend here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the list. And if Roblox finds your name here and it's set to true, then they'll ban you. Okay, so here's what this piece of code does. So I've got my list right here. And what this does for IV in next list of people I hate, this basically loops through the table. So it's going to go through checking this one. It's going to go through checking this one. So now we've got an if statement here. If game.players find first child i. Now it's important to remember that i right here is the same thing as the thing in green right here. So this is i. This is also i. That's how that's how um, for loops in next works. Okay. So game.players find first child i. So we could say game.players find first child scripting or games game.players find first child your friend. If they exist, then get them and then kick them and here's the message that you're gonna say when you kick them so let's play it as you can see I got banned it works fine so if you want to add more people you can just do comma another friend it's true so this is all well and good except this will only work when the server begins and we kind of want this to work whenever players are joining right so let's figure out how to make that happen Okay, so as you can see, I stuffed it into a while wait one loop. And what this does is while wait one do, what this does is basically every second check to see if people are in the ban list and then ban them. So this could work. This could be your solution. Every second it'll check to see if anyone's in the ban list and if they are, then it'll ban them. However, we probably want a more efficient solution because if we stick with this solution, then Roblox has to check every single second to see if anyone is banned. But we don't want it to check every single second because most of the time there's going to be people that aren't banned. So how do we do that? Well, here's the answer. Okay, so here's the solution. Game.players.playerAdded connect function player. What this does is basically whenever a player joins the game, that's what this is saying. Whenever a player joins the game, look through the table. If the player that joined, if their name matches I, which we said was the green stuff here, if it matches any of these, then kick that player that joined and say hashtag banned. So let's try it. And as you can see, it worked. So why is this better than our while wait one solution? Well, the reason is because this will only run every single time a player joins. Our while wait one loop runs every one second. So this one will run far less times than that other while wait one loop. And therefore this one is better. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then hit thumbs up. If you learned something new, if you want to help me out, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.